Firstly, for me, we had a um, fantastic welcome here in South Africa, and it's great for the All Blacks to be back. Um, it's a fantastic series ahead. Um, All Blacks playing over here is always a massive highlight for us as a team, as a country, and for this challenge, I think, for us right now, it's fantastic. Starting a rugby championship where, <coughs> excuse me, lost my voice this morning. Starting a rugby championship, this uh, where I think it's a big one for the Southern Hemisphere countries. You know, I think we've had uh, a July series that clearly we didn't get what we want against Ireland. We've had England do well in Australia. We've had Argentina win a close series against Scotland, and we've had um, South Africa lost their first time ever to, to Wales in their own country. So we've all got some points to prove and I think for the Southern Hemisphere this Rugby Championship is a, a key one for us so can't wait to get into it. Yeah, Questions? I didn't go to the Kruger to be fair but uh, the boys loved it you know it's a beautiful part of the world and part of touring is actually making sure you get out there and, and experience different cultures but uh, no we didn't see any spring box there so um, there's plenty of other animals though it's a pretty special place. In um, Samastani's selection of the hooker that's clearly the kind of big move you made what, what, what went into that and what's kind of the thinking of giving him this crack to start? Oh he's playing well um, he's done what we've asked him to do off the bench has been, we've been really pleased with his growth. Um, he's uncomplicated. You know, we don't believe he gets overawed in, in big occasions. You know, if he makes a mistake, he moves on quick. But, you know, he, he's been a big mover, I think, the last 12 months. And pretty excited about getting him that jersey. Physicality aspect, does that kind of, you know, do you charge him with bringing that? Yeah, it's not just his only... That's not his only purpose, to be honest, Mark, but it, it is certainly, um, it's a key strength of his. Ian, what about the decision to use Dane on the bench instead of Cody? He's obviously going to go to for the three tests so far. Yeah, again, it's um, got three good hookers. We felt for this test this is the right one. You know, Dane's brings a lot of experience as well, um, as does Cody, but... Uh, you know, Dane's got an energy about him at the moment, and we just feel again that his experience in that latter part of the game is going to be key. What about the lock loose forward makeup with Brody being missing, and I guess you could have used Scott Barrett on the blind side, and, and you brought Shannon Brazil on the bench for Dalton Pump? Was it you just that whole scenario? I think you've explained it pretty well, to be fair. <laughs> I'm not being smart, but what, what the question is. What was the thinking? In okay, so. Well, you know, obviously Brody not here. You know, we've clearly we've made a few changes. We've got Offa, Nepo, and, and Brody not here. Um, so I just felt that the, the combination work. If you look at Angus and Samasoni, there's a bit of combination there. Um, the two locks is a bit of combination there, uh, with with Scooter and, and Sammy White Lock and that. And and when we when we had a good look at where Akira was, we, you know, we liked Akira's growth last year, and and you know he, he's he had a bad foot in that Irish series. Came right for that third test, and actually found he did some really good things in there. There's some areas to improve, but again, another big opportunity for him. You know, and uh, he's a big physical man, but he's going to need to be. In terms of the um, coaching changes, how's Jason Ryan better done and, and uh, self picking up their attacking group? What's that been like? It's been good. You know, it's um, it's been a change made for, for a reason and change is uh, never comfortable but um, you know the objective we, we felt was the right change for, to, for the team and, and you know the first week we, it's a few new voices it's been um, well, I think the week's gone well but you know it's uh, so overall delighted with, with the response I think Jason's fitted him extremely well he's, he's got an existing relationship with some of the players but um, you know, he's got a he's had a pretty narrow focus, but he's gone about his work well. Can you give us any insight into what you've looked to bring to the attack without giving away the game plan? No, not really. That's just 
you, you'd probably just write it up just an old voice saying the same old stuff, Liam. No, it's it's no, we're just looking at growing. We've look, it's the start of a year, and you know, much is made of of the last series. Uh, but you know, we were we we're in the process of putting blocks in place in that series. Did we get everything right? No, we didn't. But still, got a lot of faith in in the areas that we want to grow our game. But and you know, there are definitely some tweaks in, in the in the attack area that we are working on. But some of them are just highlighting some focus points within our game that I just don't think we we got right in the last series. And so, it's not a matter of bringing in ten new things. It's probably a matter of bringing a couple in and then maybe honing two or three things that we wanted to do anyway but didn't do that well. Um, yes, um, good morning. Um, Steve, good morning. In, in the 2017 press conference ahead of the goal in which I remember Steve had to be in a bit fast, <coughs> where all backs had played reasonably well but not as well as they should have. Do you feel that there's a bit of angst again with the kind of results that the all backs had leading into this particular test match? Oh, I wouldn't use the word angst, no. I think it's, you know, we, we don't like losing, just like everyone. And um, and so that, that always creates an edge in, in the group and creates a, a lot of reflection from, you know, particularly our, our players. They, they, they're reflecting on their own roles and their own performances and, and how we can grow. So, um, so I'd, I'd certainly use the word reflection, and 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 it certainly has created an edge in the week. There's no doubt. And then you dovetail that with where we are and who we're playing against. It's a quite a great concoction there, isn't it? So um, it's it's a really clear challenge for us. We're excited by it. We we want to play better, but we also know that we're we've probably never been a great July team, and um, and it's the start of our year, just like it is for the South Africans, and both them and us, I guess, will be looking to improve on, on what they've shown in the first three tests. Mitchell, so I think we've set up the Springboks that they're a one-trick pony, but it's a very good trick. Um, <laughs> do you think it's all about um, manning up in the forwards? Because I guess you've basically made a narrative because it's so hard to, to cut him off. But is it all about the forwards uh, manning up this weekend? Ah, uh, look, it's about the team manning up, uh, but you, you don't, you don't look. They're definitely not a one-trick pony. I mean, that's just a fallacy. They, but what they do well, they do really well, and we know that. And you don't become world champions if you if you're not proficient at a whole lot of areas. So, you know, look, look, we're clear about what you know. They're, they're a good team, we're a great team, and they play well. We know that. But it's it's about us not getting too hung up on that either, and making sure that we go in with a a mindset to play our game and you know like I said it's you know there's an edge we we we, we know we can play better and but you don't do that by worrying about who you're playing against you do that by really honing down and getting excited about playing how we want to play so oh, so manning up we'll, we'll, we'll always man up that's not the issue you've you've got to be smart and you've got to be physical and you've got to have a good, pretty good combination of both <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. It's um, to be fair, you know, we haven't, we've, you know, it's a sign of the times. You don't get out, and you're not in the community all the time now in these COVID days, so you're a little bit more sheltered. But I'm pretty sure when we go to the stadium, there won't be 46,000 South Africans cheering for us. So I'm, I'm assuming that they, you know, they got two home games. There's a bit of pressure on them with home games, and that, but that's the way the draw is. And um, but. You know, quite frankly, when it's us, South Africa, I don't really care where the game's been played. You know, we, we, we've got a massive respect for each other, I think, and, and we know that you've got to be at your best to, to, to do well in it. Um, oh, I don't see two strategies, to, 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 to be honest. Oh, I see one strategy that they, they want to play you in a number of different ways. And it's not like they'll play one strategy for the whole game. Like that's, um, they'll, they'll have a couple of, they'll have two or three variations about how they want to play. And so we know that they'll try to play us wide off certain types of setups. We know they'll try to 
play us aerial and, and they'll try and play through us. So um, that's what happens when you play great teams. And you, that's, the, that's the key, is not going in and over-exaggerating one facet of the game. You've got to knock back because then they'll move to another. And, and hopefully that's what we've got to get good at too. You know, we've got to get good at, at um, you know, if they, they're nullifying a certain area, we've got to make sure that we're smart enough to switch our game. So that's all part of it. You know, and you do that by growing confidence and growing understanding of our own game. And, and, and that's really been one of our main focuses this week. Yeah, you know, we've advocated that. And, you know, uh, at, at this point of a, kind of a frustrating time from between last year and to this year, what, what can you expect from them? Look, it's great having him back. You know, there's, there's no doubt there's a few niggles that kept a few people out in July, but and he's one. Shannon Frizzell's another. Probably a care a little bit the other. But in, in Caleb's case, it's you know he's he's got a hamstring. He's a he's an absolute fidget. He can't keep still. He's always dancing or bouncing or doing something, which is probably not the best sort of personality to deal with a hamstring. So we've sort of put a leash down, tied him on the ground, and told him to sit still for a while. But um, he, he's ready to go. He's feeling good. He's infectious, but you know he hasn't played international rugby for a long time. You know, and through you know the way that the decisions that were made with him last year, I mean, he basically sat in hotels and did nothing for about four months. So you know, the key thing for him is just to come back and put a smile on his face and let him be himself. But you know, he's a he's a quality winger. He loves. We, we need to get the ball in his hands, and. We need to get him involved, and then if that happens, then there'll be a few more good moments and bad ones, I think. Yeah, obviously, as a coach, you would like to focus on your own team and what you guys have to prepare for this match. What, what do you make of the changes um, on the job? You know, we've been side Puff coming back, um, Malcolm Hospital is going to get back. What do you know about this newcomer, Kirti Kirti Arnson, the beat match? Uh, not a lot, really. You know, we've, um, but in terms of the changes, uh, the, the, I don't think Fuff coming back in is a change. You know, we've always planned that. He's a he's an outstanding nine, and he's a big part of the game. So we've always seen that. You know, and with with Mark starting instead of coming off the bench, that's probably you know it's not that much of a significant difference. You know, you still got to deal with him at some point, don't you? So, um, but what I do know is that they've, they've got a formula. They've you know they've basically keeping that same group that they've had for the last four or five years. They're, they're clearly trying to keep that group right through to a World Cup and, and banking on they can make it that far and and they trust that formula. So when you change one or two people on it, it's, it's not going to make that significant difference. You know, we, we know whoever's out there is going to have a great game and play well and the nice thing is that we've got to be at our best to deal with that. Take one more, Coach. Um, there has been, there have been some comments um, that um, New Zealand uh, is, is perhaps suffering in some way from not playing South Africa um, in Super Rugby. Uh, what is your view on that? Because you know, it's often said that the South Africans play with, the, with an intensity, you know, very heavy intensity. And, and how do you? I suppose the opposite is also true. So, do you think that creates a different dynamic in this test, and could it be more difficult? Or? Yeah. Wow. There's a whole lot of political questions. That one. It's um, uh, do do personally do I I miss playing South Africa? Yes, I do. I, I think it's great for us. I loved it in Super Rugby. It, um, like I keep coming back to the fact there's different styles, but ro great rivalry, intensity. They're all things that you want to have to to hone your players to to get to get become better and better. So um, you know, clearly there's. COVID has changed a heck of a lot the last two or three years, hasn't it? And and countries have made different decisions. But um, you know, of what I will say categorically is, I just think it's vital for New Zealand and rugby to, and South Africa to stay tight in their rugby relationship. And it's you know we, we've done there's so much legacy and history in this relationship that we're just got to make sure we keep we we keep. Um, we keep it strong, and, and I guess our jobs as as coaches and players is make sure we we go out there and and, and do that legacy proud with the way both teams play.